You got a tail. Yeah. You've seen the sun. Sweating out. You got a tail. You guys are hating. Let's go. Come on, you gotta sit down too much. What is good, YouTube? We are back today with the Mexican Monster. And today we got um we got two special guests coming today. So um it's gonna be a good one. We got chest and uh the two special guests, these are the people that got me into working out, so it's gonna take it back and where it all started. So let's get it today. We're pulling up to Vacaville today. We're, you know how it is, we're in the bay. Hey, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe too. Subscribe to the channel. I believe we're like 50 subscribers away. So 50 subscribers away from a thousand. Let's hit this thousand mark. I mean, we started about five months ago, already about to hit a thousand. So let's get it, baby. Tune into the Mexican monster. We next up, baby, from the Bay Area. Subscribe. Six, that's six. Time. That was light. Ooh. That was light. Ooh, light. Long time since I touched those. I'm, I'm walking in danger zone right there. Finally got invited out here. Me and his uncle finally. We still got another uncle that needs to be out here. He's just probably the strongest out of all of but, us. Uh, he is the strongest out of all of us. He's gonna be watching this video, but I text him. He never texts me back. Drew, you gotta come show how you throw up the weight. Is everybody in this group natty? Yes, sir. Everybody, yes, sir. family full of natties. Right. A little bit of alcohol. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> That's what the question always is. Are you natural or not? That's what everybody wanna know. So how long you go lifting for? I've been start, off start and on with? about 16 years old. Off and on. 16? Yeah. Big V? On and off. I was a basketball player. Then after who started lifting little weights and then got serious about what? 20, 25, 26? Yeah. I was older, so. But we, we're a family full of athletes, so. Pops, what'd you play? I played all three sports: football, soccer, basketball, and high school. Big V, who played? We all went to the same high school too. All from Fairfield, from the Bay. My dad and uh, Big V right here, they knew each other since. What do you guys mean? How old were you guys? He was 14. 14. I was 14. Yeah, 16. How old you? I was seven. Oh no, he was 15. I was 19. I think. Yeah. And matter of fact, we hooped against each other. So I beat him. I beat him. But I was a lot bigger than him back then. Beat him for his Jordans. But I didn't tell you we came like this ever since. Then um, now we brother laws And he went behind my back and stole my sister. <laughs> okay, no, great that. man though. Great man. <laughs> great man though. So how many uh how many years you guys know each other then? Half our lives. More than half our lives. Yeah, yeah. 50, 50 was, so 30 some years. Yeah. 30, yeah. 30, yeah. 30 some years. Yeah. 30 plus years. 30 plus years, man. A lot, a lot of things together. together. A lot, a lot of things together. Clubbing together, everything. Lifting together. We traveled. We used to travel to, down to Ensenada. We lift weights down going that way. Remember him? Yes. Like you, you guys do. We did. Yeah. So, when you guys were younger, did you guys go to all the different gyms LA too? Oh, yeah. Did you try all those out? Yeah. They were little gyms though. They didn't have like that. Old wall gyms, San Diego. They yeah. got in San Diego. It was all about the experience, man. Getting experience, you know. 
Is, that, um, is the gym culture now different than how it was back in the day? There's no YouTube. There's no, no, you know what I'm saying? No social media. Nobody's video yourself. Come on. All right, shout out to your other uncle, Uncle Ray, Mr. California, 19, like 87. So it's been in the family. Yeah, so another, I mean, that's another uncle. He competed. What was he, Mr. California? Mr. California, Mr. Las Vegas, Mr. Most Muscular, and Natty. He was Natty, did the natural contest. It's crazy, so it's in the genetics. It's in the family for generations. Stop discipline. It's all stop discipline. Trying to stay a little healthy. Trying to live a little longer. Right? Yeah. That's all it is, man. Oh. Um, even though you're trying to kill us right now. Huh? Even though you're trying to kill us right now. I'm trying to help you guys out. This is great I never, thought, I never thought I'd see the day, man. You know, we'd be working out with this little guy. Right, little guy. And let me okay. tell you, this guy was chubby checker yeah. back in the day, yeah. okay? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Used hey. to tease him about his weight, right? right? I was chubby back in the day, and that Big B right here did clown all the time. But that's how it is in our family. Any, I mean, anybody with... That ain't, if you're, yeah. if, you're out of shape, if you're out of shape and you're in the family, it's going to be tough for you because everybody's going to talk mess. Even grandma. We'll yeah. talk mess. Grandma will talk mess probably the most. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to at least be decent. It was a family, man. My daughters, man. My daughter constantly work out, man. It's all, my wife works out. It's all in the family, man. My mom works out. Okay. 70, 72? 72. Man, how, how old uh, grandpa works? How, how old is grandpa? 72. Two, seven, three. He can probably still do about how many pull can he do some pull-ups still? Straight up wide grip pull-ups. Crazy. So over 70 years old. We gotta get that on video one day. I'll tell you, right? 70 years old, still doing pull-ups. So we think we got a uh, viral moments with Goliath lifting a lot of weight, but Goliath, I'm coming after you, Goliath. I got five years left in me. <laughs> five years. I'm coming to Irvine. I remember Goliath in our in my garage, barely doing 225. He was like 16 i think and then he came back one day and after he shot up all that stuff and just threw it up like nothing i can lie this jump very impressive man what you're doing man very very impressive man. yeah shout, uh, shout out goliath he got a show coming up um july 14th he competed in vegas so hopefully he wins that takes that home enough break no more breaks giving him too much of a rest i think he wanted the break We used to go out and wear hoop and then they would oh, go that lift. Little thing. Yeah, they would go lift. Uh, remember that? Yeah, yeah, Gold Gym. Bud, Bud. That was way after. Yeah, but then the ones that really got oh, me into yeah. lifting, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. being serious about it, like, like benching and. Yeah. Were the, uh, back in the day, were all the kids into it? All the high schools and stuff? Like when you go to the gym, were there, were there a lot of young, not like today, huh? No, you know, if you were a basketball player, you, you can believe in lifting weights because they're messing with shots. You know? How would you guys hear about like the big gym influencer back in the day? So there's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, so it's just like yeah. just from what TV? Because yeah. there was no there was no um, there was no social media back then. You know what I'm saying there was no people promoting. So how would you know about the the bodybuilders coming out there? Yeah, the Iron the Mag like, the magazine. magazine, Iron Man magazine. Iron Man. Yeah. So looking through the magazines. Magazine and, and uh, I, I think well, I went to shows to watch Uncle Ray, so we'd see they'd have guest posters in there and stuff like well, that. Well, like Ronnie and them, how? But I think ESPN just hear about them on. Remember ESPN had the show, I think Saturday morning, about bodybuilding. Flex Wheeler was on. There. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, very rare you see somebody big back then. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, he big, you know. So, I mean, my dad did construction for a while. How long did you do it for? I've been doing this since I was, all my life. 
my brothers raised me in construction. When I owned my business, you know, after I worked for my brother for eight years and I opened my business, then you kind of just like learn to love it. I ain't never had a boss. Never had a boss. That's a uh, that's Andrew Tate right there, Nick. No, no. Bro. Escape of the Matrix. No boss. Till now. But it's all right. What about Big V? Big V, what what you do? I work at uh, Juvenile Hall, man. Uh, I've been there for 20 years. Uh, five more years, I'm retired, man. And, uh, I got them young cats in there working out. So um, trying to teach them discipline, trying to teach them about fitness. And that's one of the main reasons why I stay in shape. <laughs> you know, just show them, man, old man, no matter how long, how old you are, always stay in shape. Brought my uncle out here today. Like we said, we're missing one. Missing Uncle Andy, but it's all good. We'll get him in the next one. Pop showed up today. It's always good, though. This is where it all started, so it was good bringing it back. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the videos every week. So get Goliath back probably next week. Maxed out, too. And we'll get back to it. Let's get it, baby.